What's up guys, welcome back to Chiefs Chat. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Madden 23. You guys know it's a popular NFL football video game. Um, and it's, it's always around this time of year where they decide to start rolling out some of these Madden player ratings for the upcoming Madden game. And it's always fun to take a quick peek at what's going on here. You know, I'm not much of a player, but I do like seeing what the ratings are. You know, taking a peek at what EA believes these players are good at, what they feel like these players are bad at. So we're gonna take a look here. We're gonna take a look at the Kansas City Chiefs and take a look at what EA believes our players are good at. You know, let's uh, let's just take a peek here. You know, let's not waste any more time. Okay, you guys know I've got all of the ratings pulled up right here on my computer screen. I've got it right in front of me. We're gonna take a peek at what's going on here. Let's make sure we're gonna filter filter out all these other players. We don't care about these guys. We're gonna take a look at the Kansas City Chiefs. Now I have uh, I have looked at this uh, briefly, very very uh, quickly. You know, I haven't really dived into it too much, so I'm not too sure what it is I'm gonna see. Uh, you know, I've seen the, the first few guys, obviously, but I haven't really taken a deep look into this. But, you know, let's go ahead and see what's going on for the Kansas City Chiefs. And right off the top, okay, we've got Travis Kelsey at a 98 overall. Now, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with Travis Kelsey being at a 98 overall. That's a very, very solid rating. And he is definitely, based on these ratings, regarded as one of the best players in the NFL, as he should be. This guy is a stud. Okay, Travis Kelsey fantastic tight end for the Chiefs. Great player. But here's where I start to get, you know, a, a little bit confused. You know, I just feel like there's a little bit of disrespect going on here. You know, Patrick Mahomes at a 95 overall. I know for a fact that last season and the season before that, he was at a 99 overall. Now, I, I just want to know what happened between now and then that dropped him five overall points. I'm not too sure, you know, because he had a fantastic season last year. He did a great job, you know. So I'm a little bit confused. You know, maybe someone in the comments can fill me in on what's going on here, but Patrick Mahomes, according to EA, is the second best player on the Chiefs, which I'm pretty sure 99% of fans would disagree with. But hey, you know, you guys, you guys are getting paid to do what you do, so I'm not gonna judge. It is what it is. Moving on, Chris Jones at a 91 overall. I was pretty happy about this. I'm not gonna complain about Chris Jones being at a 91 because I do believe last year he had kind of a down year. Uh, you know, he started the year playing edge. That is where he wanted to play all season, but we quickly realized that that's not gonna work. So we moved him back to defensive tackle and it really did work for him. I, I do believe that he played like a 91 overall player when we put him back in D tackle. So, you know, he's a solid player, fantastic at a 91 overall. That definitely puts him among some of the best defensive players in the game. It's fantastic, great job, Chris Jones. Joe Tooney, 88 overall. I'm a little confused by this. I feel like Joe Tooney, I mean, this guy, he deserves to be at least a 93 overall, okay? At least. Because Joe Tooney, I mean, he is the best, you know, if not a top three left guard in the NFL. I mean, I can't think of too many that are better, you know? Quentin Nelson, I guess you could say, is a little bit better, but I just think Joe Tooney is, is consistent, he's solid, and he was fantastic for us last season. I just, I don't understand. You know, I feel like he's gotta at least be a 93-94. I mean, this guy's so solid. Uh, moving on, we got Creed Humphrey at an 86. You know, I, I'm not going to complain too much, even though I do, again, feel like it's a little disrespectful. I, th I feel like it should be a little higher. He played like one of the best centers in the NFL last season as a rookie. And I think maybe that's why, like, they're like, oh, he's still young. Maybe we shouldn't give him the high overall. He's, you know, going into his second year. But I mean, come on. I mean, this guy played like a stud. Why not give him at least a 90? That's where I feel like he should be. Moving on, Harrison Butker got an 84. You know, I don't understand it. I, I think, you know, Harrison Bucker, if, if you were to ask me, I feel like he's like a 95 overall kicker. I mean, he's so good. But one thing I will say is I don't know what EA is doing, but I took a look at the kicker ratings and Harrison Bucker had an 84 all overall is the second highest rated kicker. So like, of course, behind Justin Tucker, who's a 90 overall, but like, why are they rating these kickers so low? I'm not too sure. It is what it is. Harrison Bucker, 84. Justin Reed, I can't say too much about Justin Reed. You know, I, I think 82 is really good. I mean, that's a pretty solid rating, but I didn't really see him play much last season because he was on a different team. So it's like, whatever. But you know, 82, that's super solid. We all know this guy is a solid player. You know, he's just gonna put you on the ground. So 82, pretty solid, not gonna complain. Legereus Sneed, I'm super happy with an 81 overall. I think he's finally getting some respect. You know, according to EA, he is one of the highest rated players on the Chiefs. And, you know, he should be regarded as such. He's a fantastic guy who does not get enough respect. I mean, that's just a fact. He doesn't get nearly enough respect. He had a fantastic season last year. and He's going to be one of our top corners. You know, one of the guys 
You know, he's going to be lining up across from Devontae Adams and those type of guys. So we got to give him the respect he deserves. 81, not too shabby, okay? Juju Smith-Schuster, I would have liked to see that a little bit higher, but 80 overall, you know, kind of expected that. You know, people aren't too high on him right now, but I do think he's going to produce next season. Orlando Brown at an 80. Again, I feel like they're kind of disrespecting the lineman here. Orlando Brown, I mean, this guy should at least be an 85, 86. I mean, he had a little bit of a down year last year. He wasn't fantastic, but he made, he made the Pro Bowl. I mean, he made the Pro Bowl. He was, he was the only Chiefs offensive lineman that made the Pro Bowl, which, in my opinion, was a little crazy. I mean, that's just disrespectful. I mean, come on. But, you know, he fantastic player. I mean, he's, he's, he's pretty solid, and an 80 overall just seems very disrespectful to me. I know that there's a lot going on with Orlando Brown Jr. right now. Will he resign? You know, will he get that big contract extension he's hoping for. He, I mean, he wants to be paid like Trent Williams. He wants, you know, $25 million a year. I mean, we tried to offer it to him. He rejected us for some reason, but you know what? That's uh, that's not what we're focused on. That's that's another video, honestly. I could go on another another rant about that, but Orlando Brown Jr. at an 80, little bit disrespect. Come on. Moving on. Okay, we gotta go to the second page here. And we already got some interesting players to talk about. Clyde edwards helaire at a 79 overall. I'm not going to be too upset about that because he has been hurt. But I think when he is healthy, he's a really solid player for the Chiefs. I mean, he's got to be like a like an 83, 84 overall running back when he is fully healthy. So, you know, 79 overall, pretty solid. Again, you know, I would have liked to see it a little bit higher, but that's all right. Michael Hardman at a 79. You guys know how much I love Michael Hardman, but a 79, I feel like, that's okay. I'm not going to complain too much about that. 97 speed is really cool to see. I think they're definitely giving him the respect there. But 79 overall, you know, hopefully it's going to be a little higher next year. I think he's definitely going to get more targets, more receptions, more yards. So I do think his production value is going to go up and he's just going to go up. I mean, he's going to be stellar next year. I really do believe that. So 79 for Michael Hardman. 79 for Nick Bolton. Come on. This guy was probably, I mean... To take away Tyron Matthew, I think he was our second best defensive player last season. I mean, he was so good. I do believe that he might have been a little bit better than Chris Jones because he played his role and he played it perfectly. Just a run-stopping middle linebacker. Colin plays. You know, we don't even need Anthony Hitchens anymore. That's why he's not on the team anymore because we got Nick Bolton. He can call plays. He can do, he, you know, he can facilitate our defense. I think he deserves a little bit more credit for what he did last season as a rookie. Derek Nottie at a 78 overall. I'm not going to complain about that. Derek Nottie, he's a pretty solid guy. He's definitely going to be on that front four next season, so I'm pretty happy with a 78. Frank Clark at a 78, I'm a little upset about. Frank Clark, I mean, he's been to the Pro Bowl the past few seasons. I mean, he was there last year. Let's not forget, he was, he was at the Pro Bowl. And here he is at a 78 overall. I feel like that's a little bit disrespectful. I think, you know, maybe he didn't have the best of seasons last year. Definitely could have been better. But 78, again, just seems a little disrespectful. I mean, come on, at least an 83, at least an 84 for Frank Clark. He's still a really solid edge rusher. you got to give him a little bit more respect. Rashad Fenton at a 78. I like the respect they're giving him. You know, I feel like Rashad Fenton had a very, very good season last year. So I like to see him there at a 78. Juan Thornhill at a 77. You know, I feel like he should be in that Rashad Fenton range, maybe even that Legereus Sneed range. You know, maybe 80 overall, I would have been really happy with. But 77... Not too great. You know, I feel like, you know, he plays a lot better than that when he is on the field. I think the problem was last season that he wasn't on the field too much, you know? So we got to give him that plan time. We got to see, you know, what he can do when he's healthy and on the field. Because, you know, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, we got Brian Cook now who might, you know, take over that role as a rookie. We're going to have to see. But if Juan Thornhill starts, I do think he's going to be good. You know, I feel comfortable with him on the field. Uh, Ronald Jones, the second. Here we go. 77 overall. That's not too bad. I would have expected, you know, maybe a 78, 79. But, you know, again, that's only a couple of overall points higher. Not going to complain about that. Ronald Jones is pretty solid. I think he's going to get a lot of carries for the Chiefs. Trey Smith, 77. Come on. I mean, Trey Smith played like one of the best guards in football as a rookie. I mean, our rookies last season killed it, along with Joe Tooney. I mean, come on. At least an 80, I would have been happy with. Uh, Marquez valdez Scanley. he's another guy who I'm like... I didn't see him play last year, but I have seen bits and pieces of him balling out, and he looks like a really, really solid player. Definitely a super solid deep threat, so 76, not terrible, but you know what? Again, can't complain. Moving on. Trent McDuffie, we got our first rookie. Hello? Sorry. I don't want to blind you guys. Uh, we got our first rookie 
76 overall for Trent McDuffie. Okay, that's pretty solid. That's really, really good for a rookie. He was regarded as one of the highest rated cornerbacks coming into the draft last year. We, you know, traded up, picked him. You know, it was fantastic. You guys know what happened. So Trent McDuffie, I'm super happy with a 76. And I do think he's going to develop. You know, he's definitely going to get better. He's definitely going to be one of our top guys next season. So super happy to see him there. Jarek McKinnon at a 75 overall. I was a little shocked, you know, uh, 75. That's 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 pretty solid for Jarek McKinnon. I mean, honestly, he didn't get too much playing time last year. I mean, he got quite a bit of playing time in the playoffs and he really did ball out. So I think maybe that's why he got a little bit of a boost. But I would have expected to see him at like a 71, maybe even a 70, because honestly, he really hasn't seen the field too much. But here he is at a 75 overall. Can't complain about it. Jarek McKinnon, definitely a solid player. George Karloftis at a 74. Okay. There's another rookie off the board. Okay. That's, that's pretty solid, pretty solid rookie rating, you know. And again, I do expect him to develop. You know, I feel like that's going to be through the roof next season. He's going to ball out. I love him. Josh Gordon at a 74. That's another guy who I'm like, wow. That's a tad bit high for Josh Gordon. He didn't really do much last season. I really love Josh Gordon. I think he has potential to be really, really good on the Chiefs roster. But 74, a little high if you ask me. But I still, you know, I still do believe that he is a productive wide receiver. I just would have expected them to put him a little bit lower considering the fact that he didn't do much. He caught like one pass and had like a one yard touchdown, but you know, whatever. Tommy Townsend at a 73. I feel like this is a little bit disrespectful. Jeez, why does this keep happening? I apologize. Tommy Townsend at a 73? I don't know. I feel like Tommy Townsend is, is probably one of the best punters in the NFL. I'm not sure what the other punters are rated. I didn't look at that, but 73? I don't know. Could have been better. Uh, Lonnie Johnson Jr., a uh, guy from the Texans, 72 overall. I thought he was better, honestly. Didn't he have a, a few interceptions last season? 72, that seems disrespectful, but again, I didn't see much of him playing. He might've gotten like burned or something a few times. I don't know, you know, I'm not sure what kind of... uh, Sky Moore, out of 72. Okay, there's another rookie off the board. Sky Moore out of 72. All right, you know, I don't feel like this is how the depth chart's gonna work. I think Sky Moore is probably gonna be ahead of Josh Gordon, but you know, it's interesting to see him at a 72. Pretty solid stats, 89 speed. Acceleration at a 90, interesting. What do they got as catch? 85, okay, you know, that's, I'm not gonna complain too much. Higher than Josh Gordon, that's interesting, but yeah, so Sky Moore, okay, solid, all right. DeAndre Baker at a 71. Seems a little high to me. I, I mean, he didn't really do much, honestly, when, when he was on the field. I, I think he, you know, He's a, a little bit washed, you know, DeAndre Baker, he had a lot of potential coming into the Chiefs, you know, from the Giants, but now that he's here, he's just, he's kind of rotting on the Chiefs bench, it seems like, it's not too good. Um, Jaron Christian Sr., I don't know who this guy is, definitely a backup uh, tackle that we got from somebody. I'll be honest, I've never heard that name in my life, 71, cool. Jermaine Carter Jr., 71, okay, that's a little high, honestly, but I'll take it, okay, not too bad. Moving on. Thershawn Wharton at a 71. Interesting. Thershawn Wharton didn't see the field much, but he, when, he, when he was on the field, he wasn't too bad. He was pretty solid. He was definitely serviceable. So 71, not going to complain. Brian Cook coming in at a 70. 70. I mean, I feel like he's got to be. I mean, I, 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 I'm so high on this guy. Brian Cook is going to be so good. I think, you know, a 70, he's definitely going to look back in a couple of years and see that 70 and be like, whoa, you know, why? <laughs> why did they give me a 70? I mean, come on. Because he is so good. He's definitely going to be on the up rise next year. I mean, he's going to be like a, like an 80 next year, probably at least he's so good. Kalen Saunders at a 70. I'm surprised that they put Thershawn Wharton higher than Kalen Saunders. That's definitely interesting to me. I think Saunders played a little bit better and played a little bit more. So, you know, that's just one man's opinion. Austin Reader out of 69. Okay. You know, I feel like he was the starter last, last season for a little bit, but uh, not last season, a couple of seasons ago. Sorry. I'm just, time's flying by, but uh, you know, yeah, to see him at a 69 is very interesting. Very, very interesting to me. Um, you know, he's going to play backup center this year, but, um, you know, 69, not too bad. Derek Gore at a 69. Okay. Okay. I don't know what he was last year, but I would assume a 69 is definitely higher than what it was last year because like, I mean, this last season was really the only you know, like season that he did anything. Like, I don't even remember him doing anything the season before that. So 69. Not terrible. Justin Ross at a 69. This guy is a raw talent, so I'm not upset about that. I know a lot of Chiefs fans might be, but he's a raw talent. He's probably not fantastic yet, so 69. Not terrible. 
Leo Chanel at a 69. Okay, again, a rookie guy, you know, a guy who's gonna develop. So 69, not terrible. There's a lot of 69s on our team. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, 69, okay. 88 speed, wow, Leo Chanel, I did not know he was that fast. That is pretty solid. He is faster than Brian Cook. Leo Chanel, is Leo, is Leo Chanel faster than Brian Cook? I don't know. Someone, someone might need to, to take a look at their 40 times. Michael Burton at a 69, not too upset about that. He was serviceable when he was on the field, but he didn't see the field much. The offense kind of switched. Uh, I think it was 2019, 2020, when we just decided like, we're not even gonna have the fullback on the field. So yeah, Michael Burton didn't see the field much, but 69, not terrible. Mike Dana at a 69. I feel like Mike does, I just feel like he hasn't shown much yet, but I feel like he deserves a higher rating. I feel like he deserves more respect. He's really, really good when he is, you know, he's shown flashes of just being a fantastic player, you know? So 69, I guess I, I can't be mad because, you know, he just hasn't shown as much, but I feel like he has potential to be so much higher. Um, and then Willie Gay right here, this is just disrespectful. I don't know what EA was doing when they decided to make these ratings, but why is Willie Gay a 69 overall? I mean, that's nice, uh, but but why? You know, I don't understand. I just don't at all. You know, Willie Gay was one of our best starters on the defensive side of the ball, you know? Why is he so low? I'm just not too sure, you know? Um, 88 speed for Willie Gay? All right, okay, this is how you know EA Okay, hold up. I'm going off track again. Okay, let's go. Four point five one. Okay, I mean that's really good, but <laughs> again, take a look at Brian Cook's forty time—a four three four—and they got him at an eighty-five speed. I, I, I'm not too sure. I don't know EA. This is weird. This just doesn't make too much sense to me. Let's move on. Corey Coleman, 68, hasn't shown us much, so that's a fair rating. Gary Jennings, I don't know who this is. I've never seen this name in my life. Actually, I probably have, but I just didn't remember it. 68, cool. Andrew Wiley at a, what? Andrew Wiley at a 67? Wait, Cornell Powell at a 67? I know he hasn't shown much, but he has so much promise. What? Some of these ratings are a little confusing. Why is Gary Jennings ahead of Cornell Powell and Justin Watson? Justin Watson, wasn't he a, a pretty solid guy on the Buccaneers? I don't know. This is interesting to me. You know, this is very interesting to me. Andrew Wiley, again, let me go back to Andrew Wiley. He's getting a little disrespected. Come on, Andrew Wiley is a really solid guy. He's gotta be at least a 75. This is just horrible. This is not good at all. I'm a little upset by this, frankly. I'm not feeling too good. I mean, Cornell Powell, I just, he hasn't shown it, he hasn't even seen the field, but I just, I don't know. So I guess I can't be too upset about it, but yeah, I don't know. Some of these are just interesting to me. Yeah, now we're getting to the part of the roster where I don't even know who these guys are. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who this guy is. Oh, actually, no, this is a rookie, rookie. Yeah, Joshua Williams, he's a rookie, you know? 66, not terrible. I, I'm definitely feeling good about him. Though. I remember taking a look at uh, his college stuff when we drafted him, you know, he's, he's pretty solid. He can definitely do some things. 93, acceleration, sorry, I thought that was speed. Um, Lucas Niang at a 66, ah, Lucas Niang at a 66? 66, what are these ratings? They go so low, why? Why is so low, I don't know, that's so weird to me. Darian Kennard coming in as a rookie at a 65, ugh. Hopefully he starts. I actually do want to see him start over Lucas Niang. I like Lucas Niang, and again, 66 is ridiculously low, but gosh, I mean, come on. Uh, Darius Harris, okay, all right, 65. Again, I'm not sure who this guy is. I don't recognize his name. Dion Bush, guy we drafted, 65, okay, you know, a lot of these rookies are gonna to be towards the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, we're definitely gonna see some lower rated guys. Neville Gray, ah, at 65. I feel like he's at least a 71. Come on, give him some respect. He, he had flashes last season. You know, he's sitting behind Travis Kelsey. He's not gonna get many receptions. So come on, you gotta give him a little bit more respect. Blake Bell at 64. I'm not too mad about that because really all he does is like take quarterback sneaks. You know, whenever uh, we wanna do a quarterback sneak, but we don't wanna get Patrick Mahomes hurt. You know, we just have Blake Bell do it. So not gonna be too upset about that. Elijah Lee at a 64. Man, these guys are super, super low. I don't know what the heck is going on with these ratings. Why are they so low? 
man, they really do got people on here at a 64. This is crazy. Jalen Watson at a 64. I mean, why is he lower than Deion Bush, though? I don't know. I feel like Jalen Watson has more potential than he does. Jody Fortson at a 64. Ah, Jody Fortson, I like him. Come on. Why so low? I mean, I just feel bad for these guys, honestly. This is a little absurd. Uh, let's see. Let's see how low this thing goes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I see a player I don't know, I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going I'm I'm to be straight up. You know, I don't know who Mike Rose is. I've never seen him in my life. I'm getting attacked by flies. Jeez. Um, but, yeah, this is absurd. Nick Allegretti, I do recognize that name. I think he uh, he caught a touchdown pass uh, against the against the Pittsburgh Steelers in the playoffs, so good for him. But 63, what's his catch rating at? 42, you got to put it higher. Come on, he, he, he caught a touchdown. Come on, give him, give him some respect. Austin Edwards, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people I don't know. Joshua Kando was a guy we drafted last season who hasn't seen the field yet. 62 overall. That's absolutely terrible. Chad Henney out of 61? Come on, Chad Henney is the go. This guy deserves to be at least a 95. Give him some respect. Chris Lehman's out of 61. Okay. And it looks like these are the last of it. James Winchester out of, out of 31 overall. Wow. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, you know what it is? It's He's a long snapper, you know? So he's not going to... He's going to be listed as a tight end for some reason, but... Wow, come on, James Winchester, this is disrespectful. James Winchester, a 31, imagine, okay, this is crazy. I mean, this is absolutely insane. A 31 overall, I didn't even know Madden could like do this to players. This is just absolutely devastating. This is absolutely disrespectful. A 31 overall. Yeah, so we learned a lot today. We definitely did learn a lot about what EA believes these players are rated because I mean, this is absolutely disrespectful. Some of these ratings are just absolutely absurd. Uh, but you know, it was interesting to take a look, so. You know, I don't know if you guys are getting new Madden, but you know, I'm not. Not because of these ratings. I mean, these ratings aren't too great, but uh, you know, I just don't like Madden. But let me know if you guys plan on getting a new game and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next Chiefs chat. Peace out.